We're going to talk briefly about the upper respiratory system. What that means is the nasal cavity and pharynx. Um, we're not going to go into tons of detail. We're going to move on then to the conduction that occurs. Um, really, we're going to get to the lungs pretty quick. He, this cavity here is the nasal cavity, and it does have an important purpose. Its job is to warm and humidify the air. How does it do this? First of all, hair, just by being there, um, a passageway, but it also has some special structures. So here are nasal concha. I spelled that right, yes. And those are the bumps. In between those, there are meatuses. Meatuses are the path passages. So air is going to come in. Let me draw air in a different color here. And it's going to be shunted like in between all around um, turbulence. It's going to be turbulent in here, extra movement because of these protrusions that are sticking out here. That's going to give it time to warm and humidify. And you know this from breathing in the Wisconsin winter, that breathing in through your nose is going to help your lungs feel a little better than if you are breathing only from your oral cavity. Um, it can make your lungs burn when the air is so cold. Um, also because of that increasing the humidity. This area is lined with respiratory mucosa. Um, in addition to on top of this whole structure right here, this is the palate. It separates the oral cavity from the nasal cavity. So this respiratory mucosa up here and um, stratified squamous epithelium down in the oral cavity. A couple of other regions up with the nasal cavity, you've got sinuses. This is an example of a sinus that are basically holes that um, decrease the weight of the skull. Um, they produce mucus as well. And when they get clogged, you get a sinus infection and your head hurts. Then I believe we're ready to go down to the pharynx. So this region from back here down to here is pharynx. And there's three subregions to it. There's the naso color is bad. The nasopharynx is the um, most superior. That's going to be respiratory epithelium because it's just a continuation from the nasal cavity. We're going to have an oropharynx. This overlaps with the digestive system. So food coming in from the mouth is going to hit the oropharynx. So we need to have some protection there in terms of our epithelial type. Um, that food would hopefully continue this way and not go into your lungs. And the last region of the pharynx is down here. Um, that is our laryngopharynx, just above the larynx. So we're going to go back to respiratory epithelium before we hit the trachea and larynx. Here, this is our esophagus, part of the digestive system. The other structure, there's some right here. These are tonsils, play a role in probably immune, immune function. They do play a role in immune function, um, but not super well understood how important these, these tonsils are, since if they're removed, people tend to do okay. Learning check, state the tissue type present in each region A through F. 